Hey, this is David from MrCracker.com, and in this video I'll be talking about hubs and switches. What is the difference between the two of them, and how do they relate to hacking, right? Okay, so here we have three computers, one, two, three, and here in the middle they connect to something here, which is a hub or a switch. And, um, so what is the point of the hub or switch? Well, it connects computers together and creates a, you guess it, computer network, woohoo! But, um, this computer network here, it's connected via Ethernet cable, so these things here, um, these lines coming from the computers, they are Ethernet cables, and they connect to the middle here, which is a, like I said, a hub or switch. And bam, we have ourselves a computer network. Alright, so what now? Well, now we want to go out on the internet and download some awesome movies, right? So, okay, so how do we do that? Well, we go to the internet. Pretty obvious, right? Well, what happens when you go to the internet? Well, a hub and a switch treat it differently. So, let's look at the difference between a hub and a switch, right? Okay, so... A hub kind of sounds like a hubba, and when I think of hubba, I think of a whore. Some some, some redneck whore, you know, hubba, hey, would you like a blowjob? You know, I don't know why, but it, it, stuck, it stuck in my head, so now I've always remembered it like that. Okay, what now? Well, let's look at all of these um, computers here as people, and their, their traffic to the internet, their internet requests as that whore. Okay, so this is a hub, and um, what's happening? Well, this computer on the left, he's going, uh... Yeah, let's go get me some uh, sexy time. And he goes up here, requests something on the internet. Now the internet comes back. And, um, well, do you think it's going to go to this one or that one or that one? Well, it's going to go to this one because he requested it, right? But see, the hub is a retard. It doesn't know it doesn't know who the traffic is made for, so it'll send it to here. So, you know, obviously that little whore won't go away without getting a little sucky sucky from every single person on the network, right? Here, 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 and then back. Okay. Now everyone's getting that traffic. So why is that bad? Well, because now it's killing bandwidth because it's going to places where it's not intended to be. And all that traffic coming here, it realizes, okay, this is not for me, drop. Okay, this is not for me, drop. This is for me, save, right? Okay, so why is that bad? Okay, it's killing bandwidth, so it's killing performance. What else is bad? Well, let's say uh, some dude, some sniffer dude, right, comes up here and puts a sniffer on the network. Some guy who's not supposed to be there, some malicious hacker, and he puts just puts a sniffer on that network. And now what's happening? Well, what if this traffic here is um you accessing your email, right? Username, password, come back to him, to him, to him. Well, this guy, he has a sniffer, so he's gonna sniff it and he's gonna store it on his computer. Whoops, was that your username and password? Uh huh. Damn it. Well, now what? Okay, your FTP login. You're logging, you're logging into your FTP account. Damn it, my username and password to every one of these guys, right? Sniffer. I have your password. Okay, that sucks. So as you can see, a hub isn't very secure. It's just giving your traffic out to everyone. Um, so let's look at a switch. Get rid of all this stuff. A switch is a bit smarter, not as, not as retarded as the hub, but still not smart enough. But it does make sniffing a little bit harder. So let's look at look at a switch. Okay, this guy is going out there. He's like, yeah, let's get me some uh some good uh I don't know YouTube videos, right? So he's going out there. And he's getting videos. Now the Packets that you need to download to watch the video, they're coming back, right? Okay, now the switch is like, hmm, who do, where did this come from? Well, it can find out why because it can dissect your packet. It looks at your header information and bam, it came from this IP address, youtube.com. Okay, and where's it supposed to go? Well, it's supposed to go to a uh, computer IP address 192.168.1.2. On port 80, okay. That let's look up that computer. Okay, it goes on. Um, I have a computer here. Let's send it to him and it forwards that traffic to this guy because it knows it's supposed to be to go to, go to, it's supposed to go to that guy because it looks at the header information. It dissects that packet and it finds out where it came from and where it's supposed to go. So um, let's see what happens when this guy puts his sniffer on the network again. Oh yeah, let's have some more passwords. <laughs> like a little crack cocaine addict. Okay. Oh shit, it's not coming to me. Damn it. Oh look, he can't sniff. He can't sniff. You thought you you thought you were safe, didn't you? Nope, you're not. Why? Because there's other methods to get around that. What is it called? It's called ARP, ARP, uh, poisoning, ARP poisoning, ARP poisoning. And what is that? Well, you'll find out next video. So uh, you'll have to wait till next week. But now you know what a um, hub and a switch is. Um, they're the, almost the same thing. They have the same purpose to create a computer network. But the hub is retarded. It doesn't know where the traffic is supposed to go, so it sends it to, sends it to everyone. But the switch, it knows. It knows that traffic is supposed to go to this computer, and it'll forward it, to it after it dissects it and finds that information out. So everyone else on the network doesn't have to get it. Why? Because it's not meant for them. So as a result, it saves tra bandwidth. It increases performance, and. That's about it. Okay, so that's a hub and a switch. I'll see you next week.